Today, Matt and I are going where no YouTuber has dared go before. A serial tier list. No, don't. You can't stop us now. I know many of you just flipped over your table like, No, this is too deep. No one's ever done a serial tier list. It can't be done. It shouldn't be done. But we did it. And not only did we did it, we did it big. With over 20 different serials. It's the biggest tier list we've ever done. So let me accurately show you where these bad boys belong on a tier list. We're gonna start with one of my favorites. Oh, this is a bit of an obscure brand. This is Honey O's. Honey O's. Turn around. Honey are you, are you Turn around. Post an obscure brand? I've never had. I eat a lot of cereal. Wait, Honey O's. Is that not just knockoff Cheerios? Cheerios? Well, we don't like to say that <laughs> in the Honey O's community. You know, what is in the middle? It's like they had to be different, so they put a little. It's it's oat bunch. Grime in it. No, it's oat bunch. <laughs> I've shown this to a lot of. Oh my, my god, they look like baby funyuns. <laughs> they, they're look at how they're so full of flavor that you, you want to jump out so of the much, box. Charlie, we have twenty-two cereal, <laughs> and you get you're gonna want this every single time. All right, they're so good. So dry first, yeah. Mmm. Um, just a splash of milk. <laughs> yep, that ought to do it. Well, we need it to last all. Cereal. They're even better with milk. They don't even have commercials for this cereal, that's how obscure it is. Or if they do, it only airs during like 3 a.m. on Adult Swim. It's actually really good. Oh yeah, I trust your cereal preferences now. I, I've said a lot of controversial things on mm -hmm. these tier lists. I've, I've made like, a lot of placements that don't make sense, but I'm... Like, I haven't had Sprite. <laughs> that was a big one. True. But I'm never wrong about cereal. Mm. You know that's a fortified cereal. It's what? Fortified. By what? flavor. I wanted to start this shit off with a bang and introduce you to the underdog in the cereal world, Honey O's. No one has ever heard of this shit. It's like the Men in Black went around and neuralized everyone that ever ate cereal in the early 2000s. I remember Honey O's were pretty popular when I was younger and I always loved them and I still love them to this day. I think they're an extremely good cereal that everyone for some reason forgot about. Honey O's are an easy S tier, and I always highly recommend them. We, I wanted to start this off with a strong cereal, and I gave us one of the strongest we've ever created. Scientists hit the absolute holy grail of cereal when they invented Honey O's. We got Cocoa Puffs. Alright, I just said that I've said controversial things, I'll say it again, I've never liked Cocoa Puffs. I, I actually yeah. haven't either. Really? That's not that controversial, yeah. No, you don't get an input on this because you like plain Cheerios. Okay, no, plain Cheerios, I'm telling you, are the best cereal. Don't just... spoil it. Like... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> she, can, she can give us her villain monologue when we get the plain Cheerios. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're like bad, yeah. but I would never choose Like if I had puffs. this or Reese's Puffs, I would literally never choose these. I just gotta give the kids a little tidal wave here in the pool, make sure they get coated. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's not, it's not like bad, but yeah, I would never choose it over the other options. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs were always extremely popular in elementary and middle school in my area, and I just never really enjoyed them very much. Obviously, I couldn't say that out loud, otherwise I would be outcasted from the lunch tables for saying something so blasphemous, but I could say it now because I'm a fucking adult. What are they going to do? Fight me about it? They're kids. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's adults that like Cocoa Puffs, but the point being, I don't think Cocoa Puffs are that good. I don't think they're bad by any means. I'm going to put them at a C tier. Uh, I just don't think there's ever a reason to choose Cocoa Puffs over the alternatives in the cereal aisle. So if you want to get an S tier browser extension, I of course recommend Honey. I've talked about Honey a lot. It's a free extension. It installs in two clicks and it scans the internet for coupons at most of the major retailers online. So that way you don't have to do anything. It adds a coupon and just saves you money for free. When there's a coupon, Honey finds discounts of 18% on average. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews on Google. So, I mean, it's an app that isn't some unknown entity. I'm sure you've heard of Honey before, and there's a reason they're becoming a household name. It's just free money. It's a great service. It is actually just saving you money. It's free money. There's really no reason not to get Honey when it's free, and it's just an easy-to-install browser extension. If you're interested in trying Honey and saving money, you can click the link in the description below to get Honey installed. Uh, I've used it a lot. Every time I make an Amazon purchase, I usually save anywhere from like two to $10. I don't make huge purchases, so that does make a difference. It adds up over time, and it was for doing nothing. So 
Always highly recommend honey. Click the link in the description below if you're interested. Cinnamon Ooh. Toast Crunch. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't yeah, think that would happen. happen. What was the What was the commercial for this one? I like flavor and I like food or something. What the fuck is it? The Cinnamon Toast one? <laughs> No, that's the one with the big guy and he eats the stuff and then his tongue goes around and licks the whole screen. No, he, they it's have, literally that guy with the big tongue. No, I'm talking about the classic Cinnamon oh. Toast Crunch commercials. Gotta have my crunch or something. Cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamony, chocolatey flake. <laughs> ah, that's the one. They had a slogan. What the fuck was it? Does anyone know? I don't remember. These are one of my favorite cereals. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is so good. Mmm. All right, you make some milk. God, cinnamon toast crunch is so good. It is. It's the perfect blend of cinnamon and crunch. And uh, toast. Oh my God, toast. Mmm. Woo! Holy shit. That is the snack that smiles back, baby. After having that, after this, you have to be a fucking idiot to, to choose this, this over Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Like, I am calling you out. If you are and choosing this over this, you're dumb. And, and you're the actually chocolate dumb. milk at the end is good, but the cinnamon milk is far better. Oh. Chelsea's right here. You want to insult her more? Oh, would yeah. you choose Cocoa Puffs over cinnamon toast? Milk? Every, Every day. day. You are this close to being fired. <laughs> what is oh. going on? This is unbelievable. We've hired an actual sociopath. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Cinnamon toast crunch. You just can't go wrong with it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, do I even need to explain it? It's an S tier. When you cinnamon toast when you see cinnamon toast crunch on the shelves, your eyes probably light up. You probably just get excited. That's the kind of power of the cinnamon toast crunch cereal. It's just fucking wonderful. Fruit loops. There's was. Dookie dookie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I remember too. The taste you can see. That's oh, oh yeah, cinnamon toast crunch, the taste you can see. Which fruit loops? Tell me why it's dookie dookie. <laughs> Fruit Loops commercials were pretty cool. Tuki Tuki was from George of the Jungle. For anybody who didn't get that reference. Oh, Here, see. take your dry. I love Fruit Loops. I used to eat the, You gave me two Fruit Loops. All right. This was another one that they had in the calf. That, that's what I used to every day. Fruit Loops slap. Oh, baby. Fruit Loops are so good. I'm excited. This is my favorite tier list we've ever done. Because yeah. I absolutely love cereal. Same. You know what's crazy? All of the cereals are made by like the same three companies, so mm -hmm. you know for a fucking fact it's all the exact same shit, but somehow it always tastes different. Mmm. I love your reasoning, like your logical thinking there, as if Pepsi didn't make all the drinks we drank gonna, last time and they were tasting different. That's why I started laughing. I was trying not to say anything. They use different ingredients. <laughs> no, no, no. That doesn't make any sense. How do Fruit Loops not taste like Reese's Puffs? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They're made by the same person. Mm -hmm. mm. So you, you see where the conundrum is. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it now. God, that's good. Fruit Loops, a classic, and for good reason. It's incredible. It's an S tier. Uh, the astute observer of this video here will recognize a pattern. You're going to be noticing a lot of S tiers coming from me this time around because I'm a massive fucking fan of cereal. You really can't go wrong with cereal. It's such a fucking enjoyable food. Like, it really is. I know a lot of people probably don't expect me to be a big fan of cereal because when you look at me, you're like, well, Charlie probably has a very refined palate and can only enjoy the finest cuisines on the planet. Not some simple things like cereal. He's, he can only enjoy the d the delicacies of the of this world. But I, I believe it or not, I actually really enjoy cereal. And you're gonna learn that very soon with the amount of S tiers that are coming. I don't know if this is controversial, but I've never liked tricks. I like tricks. This might be very different. Yeah, Maybe right. you'll like them today. True. I mean, I haven't had them since I was a kid. There was a big issue. Oh, spin Show it. me the box. I thought you were telling us to speed it up. Yeah. I was like, alright, there's a big issue. <laughs> I don't understand your stage commands, Danny. I didn't go to film Everybody school. Play Dizzy Bet. Do you remember the slogan for tricks? Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. And then he'd jump out and go, tricks, tricks, peanut butter, chocolate. <laughs> yeah, hey, They somehow all go get back to that. Something's Please. running together in my head. What the fuck? You said you like tricks. Prove it. Let's see if they Pussy. taste different from one another. I absolutely mm. think they do. I, I Even when I was a kid, I noticed that. Yeah, absolutely, they taste a little different. 
I like tricks. So. Are you changing your mind? Do you like them more? I definitely like them more now. That's good. They're, they're good. Maybe they're just not for kids and they lie. It's for 26 year old men with the height of a kid. I really, I think tricks slap. I think they're really good. They're a lot better than I remember. Mm. They're a brighter flavor than Fruit Loops. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they're better. It's, it's like a. More sugar? Know. Yeah, like Fruit Loops is like. It, I'm it, ugly, yeah. yeah, Fruit Loops is more introverted. Tricks are very mm -hmm. extroverted. And you need both in your life. Mm -hmm. Just depends on what you want to do that night. That's good. Silly Rabbit, tricks are for the A tier. I never had really fond memories of the Trix cereal. I used to love Trix yogurt, and of course, Trix is very close to the word dicks, and I always thought that was incredible, because on Xbox Live, people would always make that joke. Uh, so that's like the only fondness I have of the Trix brand. I never really liked its cereal, but having it now as an adult, I think that's when it's really shining. I don't think Trix are for kids. Trix are for adults, after you've had the chance to let your taste buds really mature to appreciate the fine flavors. You guys all get kicks? Mm. Matt, I picked up kicks and I was like, Matt, do people still know what kicks is? And you're like, Charlie, what the fuck are you talking about? No way. Really? Oh. No, not really. That did not happen. Oh. But I, well, I picked up kicks and I said, right. Matt, do people still like kicks? And you said, right. no. But you're framing this like you're a little king. You're like, Matt, do people like these? I was like, fuck no, Charlie, you idiot. This was like a joint happened. effort of us <laughs> saying, like, yeah, people don't really eat these anymore. Well, if you like kicks, you're fucking dumb, I guess, in Matt's world. Tell us how you like kicks, Chelsea. <laughs> I actually do like them, so do I. So. <laughs> there it is. All right. God. Oh, All right, we got it. Hot. Seriously? Yeah, kicks suck. Oh, open those. I remember these very well. Mm. Gotta have my pops. And then let's open the balls for pops. <laughs> Gotta have my, whoa, oh boy. <laughs> what is your thought process? <laughs> It was a little heavy-handed. Just more slow. But you, yeah, Matt, this is why I'm the professional and you're just, you're the wacky. You don't have the same commitment to the flavors that I, I do. I eat so much cereal. God, always. Pops are so good. This is an example of a cereal that is so much better with milk. Like, mm. without milk, I think it's not great. It tastes like cardboard. You get it wet and the magic happens. I think it's still fine dry, but I also agree. <laughs> Corn Pops. Gotta have my fucking pops. Gotta bust a fucking nut in these pops. Corn pops, absolute banger. I, I've preached the good word of corn pops for years, and I am glad a lot of people agree with me. I see a lot of love for corn pops online. They are just so good, especially when you put them in milk. God damn, S tier, easy. All right, we're gonna speed run. Oh, I got pops. Nice. Let's not say things we can't take back. We're not speedrunning Honey Smacks. That's blasphemous. Have you never had Honey Smacks? Oh, you're in for a treat. Like, look at the... Have... Have fun with Diggum. Like this... They're in Mac. Yeah, I told you. This guy fucks. His name's Diggum? Well, I don't know about that. I thought his name was Frog. I didn't know he had a name. And I don't know why it would be Diggum. That might just be the name of the minigame. The game, yeah. Too. How did the frog feel when he hurt his leg? Bad. Unhappy. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Diggum's right, like that's kind of a banger. Is that an O, honey? No, it says, oh, it is unhappy. I thought it just said unhappy. Wait, let me see. Right. I prefer it the what other way. What kind of shoes do frogs wear? You have to turn it upside down. Oh, I saw the answer. I was waiting oh. for you to guess. Sneakers. Flip. Oh, flip flops. Open toed. Uh, <laughs> there. I am pouring from now on. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> You're not my mom. I can have as much. This is gonna be a three part tier list. <laughs> oh my God. Honey smacks are so good. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> These have the black spots too, by the way. Yeah, because it's corn. <laughs> I learned that <laughs> earlier. These don't look as appetizing as Pops. I think Pops are probably better. I don't like these as much. Really? I, I think they're just as good. Not, well, okay. Not just as good, but comparable. A little bit of cardboard taste in there. Mm. That's fun. Honey Smacks. A long forgotten beauty. I'll never forget that frog. 
And by that I mean I never remembered that Honey Smacks had a mascot till we picked him up today. So, big fan of Honey Smacks. They're still as good as I remember them being. They are fantastic. Honey Smacks, easy, easy S tier. Really, a lot of the honey flavored foods I think just work really well for cereal. Honey flavored cereal is probably my favorite kind. I just think it has such boldness to it, just playful. Like you take a bite and you just get happy, like, oh, oh, it's playing with me down there, you know? Like you, you can't help but get excited when having something like Honey Smacks. Now we're moving into the rice category. Let's go. Rice Krispies, baby. Oh, it's very healthy. Oh, talk about cardboard. Have you had this cereal before, before you eat that? Not for a really long time. It's actual, that is like actual paper. Yeah. Like this is what I imagine it tastes like when you just open a paper shredder and start eating it. There's no flavor. Oh yeah, they'll pop. Pretty plain Jane. Are they popping? I can't hear shit with Matt's Fifi <laughs> foaming. Definitely popping. Oh yeah. Wow. Hopefully that's some kind of flavor crystal. They're better with milk. And it's really just a vehicle for milk at that point. It's actually just drinking milk. Here, try the sugar. No, oh, no, 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 that'll no, 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 mess no. up the taste test. Yeah. They're better with sugar. Yeah, I mean, they're better with anything, really. I <laughs> if I really, you know how some people suck. have problems with water, so they have to drink thick water? Yeah. If I needed to texture my milk, I'd use Rice Krispies. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, this I'm sucks. not cooking. <laughs> That absolutely fucking sucks. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, that. Wait. She just doesn't like flavor, apparently. <laughs> no, hold on, wait, get the box out. We need to settle this. I, this this box of yes. air. Put your hand in. I, yeah. I love Eat it and show us you're happy. <laughs> yeah, stop lying. <laughs> she just dies. <laughs> disgusting. All right, we have our first stinker of the cereal tier list, Rice Krispie cereal. What the fuck is that about, huh? It's literally like eating crunchy air. I couldn't pick up on any semblance of flavor. It was like a barren wasteland. It was just like eating thick sand, but with less flavor than sand. Rice Krispie cereal, I'm putting it in F tier. I don't know why you'd ever choose this. It's not like it's a healthy alternative to cereal or anything. It has just as much sugar as the other stuff somewhere hidden in there. I don't know. There's like some forbidden alchemy to create this abomination. It's it just, it's bad. Like I, I've never had, I don't think I've ever had the Rice Krispie cereal. And I'm glad I didn't. It would have ruined my childhood. Let's go Honey Wait. Nut Cheerios and then, actually go Plain Cheerios first so we can be happy at the end. Yo game. <laughs> okay, sweet. Heart healthy. Right. I remember this was highly disputed because they are not heart healthy. My parents used to get this for me when I was fat because I was like, I want to get skinnier, but I still like cereal. I'm like, okay, well, Cheerios is probably good for that. Ooh, you fat. What? In middle school? Do you remember me in middle school? Well, yeah, you were huge. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't fat just because comparatively to you, I wasn't the You fat. I was fat. I was 40 pounds overweight for my height. The doctor kept telling me to lose weight. Now it's getting very personal, Matt. All right, you're I'm ruining sorry. my cereal experience. All right, we both lost weight together. Let's yeah, both be happy. You're bringing the demons out of me. Oh, those don't even look at it. Like I wouldn't feed these to my hamster. Yeah, I don't even have a hamster. <laughs> They're just. Oh my god! You eat these for fun? <laughs> well, I like them with milk. Like, okay, you have to have like ice cold milk at 2 a.m. After you may or may not have partaken in something, Cheerios are the best. Best midnight snack. Ah, so when you can't <laughs> taste them is when they're the best. <laughs> I also would agree with that. They're so That looks so confused. <laughs> My mouth is dry. <laughs> Alright, let me add some milk onto it. See what did milk. Charlie say when he had cereal? Or how did Charlie feel when he had Cheerios? <laughs> Unhappy. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Dude, you should be a frog. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Put that on the back of the box. Yes. It's so bland. Have you had Cheerios recently, Danny? No. I haven't had any cereal recently. Back to back poo poo cereals here. Shit is ass. Plain Cheerios, you have to be insane. I don't know why you would do that. They are not that healthy. You could pretty much just substitute them for any other cereal and be in basically the same spot as if you had just tortured yourself with this awful cereal. This is joining Rice Krispies down in the F tier. I don't know why you would choose this. 
granted it's not the worst taste in the world but it's just why choose this over actual good cereal that's now that's the good stuff yeah honey nut cheerios bag boom sorry i didn't know because you didn't do your hand signal oh yeah that's my bad no. oh you, you can do better now we're cooking good mm -hmm. I've always liked Honey Nut Cheerios. Me too. Big fan. Big fan. Really, any honey cereal does great. And now, speaking of actual good cereal, it's time for Honey Nut Cheerios. The completely different and much more successful sibling to regular Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios are incredible. Love Honey Nut Cheerios. That's an S tier. I mean, what a far cry from the fucking loser of normal Cheerios, right? Like, in that family household, there is a clear superstar there that the parents favor. You know, that's Honey Nut Cheerios all the way. Also, I like Honey Bunches of Oats. These are ones I were never crazy about. Really? Yeah. I've always liked Honey Bunches of Oats well. It's a healthier alternative that's still yummy. It's Woo! I'm excited! I like these. Yeah, these have always been good. Cash flavor. Don't you have a ton of boxes of those in the closet? No, I have a bunch of Honey O's in the closet. I still think Honey O's are better than this, but I do like Honey Bunches of Oats. I wonder which is healthier. Uh, well, cereal is fucking horrible for you, if you can believe that. Not all of it. Literally all of it. No, no, no. Even her Cheerios that taste like, like plant soil have like 80 grams of sugar in it. And you can't taste a single gram. Yeah, what's the point of having it in there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm good. That is very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Honey bunches of oats? More like honey bunches of, oh my god, it's an S-tier cereal. Yeah, they're fucking great. They're just really good. I don't even know what else to say about them. Yeah, frosted so. flakes, frosted flakes. For one day, he was the most uh, Rule 30 Ford mascot. Really? Yeah, Tony, Tony the, the Tiger, Tiger made a Twitter account, and they were spamming Tony the Tiger cock. The furries latched on them big Whoa. time. Yep. He he, 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 made, oh, sorry, he made a statement, he's like, please don't please do stop this. Drawing my penis. <laughs> please don't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, the, the actor behind Tony the Tiger died. Aww. Uh, rest in peace, he's up there in Frost. Like on the now. same day they were making the Rule 34, like it killed him? Oh no, he died 20 years before that. Oh, but I just okay. think it's interesting that his character became, for one day, like a massive porn icon. Wasn't it animated? Yeah. Oh, like the voice, voice actor. actor. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. What were you going to say now about Tony the Tiger? Have you seen any of his uh, pornography work? Me? Yeah. No, no. I was going to ask you if you looked into the specifics of it. Oh, uh -huh. It was just, um, I feel like they could do a lot with his tail. They had some wild ones. Like, they kind of drew him like Thanos. Like, you know, like Thanos dick? Mm -hmm. Where it's like dick, like, fucking flops yeah, real hard. They did that for Tony the Tiger, too. They're good with whole milk? Yeah, pretty good. They're yeah. even a little bit like eating fiberglass. Yeah, they're very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Very, very aggressive. Never forget that massive cock from Tony the Tiger. You can taste it with every bite of Frosted Flakes. It's an S tier, baby. Frosted Flakes are fantastic. The only thing that I think they could do better is just change the shape of them. Make them like one uniform shape or something. I don't like all the jagged edges that you sometimes get with Frosted Flakes. Sometimes it like hits my gums and makes them bleed. It hurts. Just make like a, a fucking safer vessel for your good flavors. Instead of like the broken glass design that Frosted Flakes have. Alright Charlie, let's get our second win. I'm ready to rally. Alright, so these I think might be where we differ. I like Frosted Mini Wheats. I like Frosted Mini Wheats too. What, you want to fight about it? No. Okay. I just thought you would have liked them. There's very few cereals I don't like. And then there's Cheerios, which I fucking hate. Great. One Mini <laughs> Woohoo! That's your dry one. Oh yeah. That's a poignant flavor. Mm-hmm. Alright. Come on, Matt. Let's get wild. Woo! It's a wacky, it's a wacky summer now. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm gonna stop asking you <laughs> to pour the milk. That's two for two. You caught me by surprise. Oh. I don't, I also, I don't know if I've ever had mini wheats with uh, milk either. They're yummy. Strap in. Boy, I haven't even have to fuckle up my seatbelt here, it seems. These are they really soak them in. They're like a bomb of milk. They're pretty yummy. Boom! Mm. Well, be careful. Mm -hmm. She's a squirter. God damn. Let me try one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> 
Frosted Mini Wheats are joining the big boys at the S tier. Very exclusive club, but I mean, they're fucking good. Like, it's just another really enjoyable cereal. And putting it in milk was even better. Like, that was an eye-opener for me. I don't think I ever even ate Frosted Mini Wheats in milk. So I was I was missing out on half of the fun. And then I got to experience it today, and I'm like, goddamn, S tier. Easily. I don't need to be interrogated by you like it's L.A. Noir. Frosted Mini Wheats banged. Apple Jacks. It's the Winamon. Oh, it's upside down. Fuck yeah. Oh, they changed him. Why are they changing well, no, all you still got, That's the cinnamon guy, and then there's a little fetus apple there, too. Was he always in the Yeah, cars? yeah, they've always, because they always like used to race and stuff oh, to see who could get in like, first. Yeah. I'm going to pour my own this time. Are you sure? Yeah. The, the after cereal of Apple Jacks slaps big really? time. Yeah. Like the milk? Yeah. That is very good. Like I said, I don't even remember having Apple Jacks that well, but this is good. I'll remember this. These are some yummy bad boys in here. Mm -hmm. They have like a flavor dust on them. Mm -hmm. Those are good. God damn. I don't taste even a hint of apple though. Apple Jacks, it's the Winamon. Up there at S tier, baby. It's another S tier cereal. Can you fucking believe it? They were great. You know, I may not have been able to taste very strong, bold apple flavors, but I didn't need to. They were there as a supporting role, a little supporting character side side quest, and I thought it did a great job. Excellent. All right, so now, the highly requested Crave. Crave, probably. This is, this is the one I was saying. I don't think any of us have ever heard of that one before. I've never, yeah, never heard of it, except for the fact that every stream, everybody says this is the best cereal ever made. I'm excited. They it's smell good. There's a lot of hype around. Do they smell good? Yeah. I mean, it's basically just a cereal crisp filled with chocolate. Hmm. I don't know if I'd buy that yet. I can't be the only one. Yeah, I can't be the only one that thinks that's extremely aggressive. Let me try one. Yeah. Yeah. Can you grab one? I just reach from the actual box, not my bowl <laughs> I've been using for eight cereals. Yeah. I like. I feel like there should be chocolate in there because I like feel the texture, but there's no taste to it. Yeah, yeah it's mainly just the outer coating. It's like it's super aggressive. That's weird. That was extreme. Yeah, Maybe the milk activates it. Croissant. Yeah, the milk might make it good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a milk needed cereal. Yeah, this will bring it out. Let's see. They so should, far, I'm unimpressed for what everybody always. They should make Carolina before. Reaper cereal. Ooh. Yeah, we I should. Do. Psycho right. serum cereal. Yes. Psychos. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like say something else no. after that, and you just stop. <laughs> no. It's like Cheerios, but psychos. Capsaicin flavor, baby. The milk helps. A little bit. Still not my favorite. Whoa, what are you eating down there? Cereal. Okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this overwhelmingly wins your stream polls, though. I don't know. Every time. Crave came with absolutely glowing reviews across the board, and I have to wonder how many of those are bots. It definitely didn't live up to the hype that we were expecting going into it. That's not to say that it was bad. It was just a bit of a letdown from the crazy hype train that it had. I'm going to put it at a B tier, because I think it's a very serviceable cereal that you're not going to be, like, overly disappointed with. But I definitely think there are better options. Cocoa Puffs, or Cocoa Pebbles. We don't have fruity pebbles. Yes, we do. Some... Remember? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a rice-based cereal. Do the Flintstones still exist anymore? Or no, I don't think so. They were from the Stone Age. I mean, like it's still a thing. It didn't just see... But I don't think they're being made anymore. If that's, yeah, if that's so. what you mean. Yeah. Like, there's no way kids know who Fred just Flintstone is. No, probably not. That's good. Yeah, Did you guys used to have the Flintstone vitamins? When you yeah, were of there? course, the gummy vitamins. Yeah. No, no mind, they were like chalky. They're chalky, chalky ones. ones. Yeah, yeah. I used to have I just all the milk. time. Mm -hmm. You know, these really need milk, I think. I'm just saying, I just don't think I'm a huge fan of chocolate cereal. Yeah, or rice cereal. Hey, the fruity ones are the best. They're the best things. I just can't imagine a world where fruity pebbles line up against Fruit Loops and tricks. I also can't imagine that world, that hellscape. That's better. Very chocolatey once you add milk. That's very chocolatey. Hmm. Not impressed. Not impressed. Step your shit up, Fred. 
Coco Pebbles. Yeah, wasn't super impressed. I'm just going to put it to C tier. I'm going to rip the bandaid off. Cocoa Pebbles going in a C tier. Uh, I really think maybe I'm just not a huge fan of chocolate-based cereals, to be honest. Because I just feel like a lot of them just don't stack up against the alternatives, which are more like sweeter ones like Honey, Frosted Flakes, Frosted Mini Weeks. I, I think that's just better. You know what I mean? I love chocolate. I absolutely love chocolate. I'm one of those dumb assholes that has the favorite flavor of ice cream being chocolate. So I'm a big fan. I just don't really like the cereals that really bring out these chocolate flavors. I, I just don't think it works overly well. Now before there's a riot in the streets about this, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you we did not get Cocoa Pebbles. We picked them up and they must have fallen out of our hands since we were carrying them all by hand. Over 20 fucking boxes, full boxes of these cereals. And it must have just fell out somewhere along the journey to the cash register. So we lost the Cocoa Pebbles, or the Fruity Pebbles. So I'm just going to tell you, from memory... Fruity Pebbles, I'm going to give a B tier, like a high B tier, maybe even A tier. I'd have to definitely get them again, but we didn't have them today. And I just want to let you all know that, yes, we are aware Fruity Pebbles are not here, and they should be. And I, I think they'd be somewhere in the B, A ballpark in that, in that general vicinity. Yeah, you guys absolutely influence each other, like yeah. every single decision you, uh, you ever make. <laughs> Because Charlie will be like, it kind of sucks, and I'll be like, I kind of like it. Charlie will be like, oh yeah, me too. <laughs> I have never once flip flopped on my position. Our ever. minds are so melted at the point we're just hearing each other's answers and thinking it's our own. I don't think there's been a single point in any of these tier lists where I was like, this fucking blows, and Matt's like, well, actually, it's kind of uh, enjoyable, and I'm like, you know, what, you're right. I don't think I've ever had. I think that. that's maybe all of them. <laughs> what? Oh shit! Oh, you go, you go. I got Captain Crunch with berries. berries. Captain Crunch is always pretty cool. Crunch it ties me, mm -hmm. Captain. He I remember liking Captain Crunch as a kid. I, I don't think I had it in like 15 years. I don't think I've ever had, or I don't think I ever really liked Captain Crunch. <laughs> sorry. Excuse me. Are you really sorry though? I'm very apologetic. I'm extremely unprofessional. <laughs> oh yeah, Crunch it ties me, Captain. Let's get Crunch it -tized. Honey oh. flavor. Oh. Berry flavor. Honey. <laughs> Berry. They're aggressively... Like five-year-old. <laughs> I have to compare. I just never really liked Captain they Crunch. They are aggressively sweet. Captain Crunch is probably the sweetest. It's gotta be. That's real sweet. Let's see. I'm not a huge fan. Ow! <laughs> what happened? They're... Sharp! He's crunchitizing you. <laughs> Those are dangerous for children. Dangerous for diabetes. Him because the kids can't have it, so you're it's good. No, it's it's good. way too sweet. And I feel like if I finish this bowl, it's gonna tear off the top of my mouth. Like the gums yeah. right behind my teeth. Not everyone's as weak as you, Matt. I could eat these. I've never been beaten by cereal. Like, no cereal's beaten me in a fight. I just don't like it. I know it's hard to hear not liking Captain Crunch. It's a very beloved cereal that is extremely important to a lot of people's early childhood erections, but I was just never a big fan of Captain Crunch, and even to this day, I'm still not. It's, it is better than I remembered it being, but it's just way too sweet for me. I'm gonna put Captain Crunch at a C tier. It's a serviceable cereal, of course, but it's just way too sweet. I think it overpowers everything else. You just really taste like you just took a fucking handful of sugar and just slapped it in your mouth. Everybody knew Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Oh, we'll finish it. Peanut butter, chocolatey flavor. Why We're gonna get sued. Yeah, yeah he's been it singing it all fucking day <laughs> since we got the books. <laughs> And remember those, those guys who would come into school, though, with Reese's Puffs and have the chains and they'd start rapping and fog would come out of the room? Well, they had a whole dance. It was like, you know, I was top rocking. I love this cereal. Uh, another controversial opinion, I've never liked it. Yeah. I prefer it over Cocoa Pebble, or whatever this was, Cocoa Pebble. Oh, I thought we were like friends. Peanut butter, chocolatey. All right, now quick, say you really like it, and we'll edit it in post. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's better than that, but I'd never choose it. I might puke. <laughs> Peanut butter, chocolatey, puke. It's like the fourth time you said that today. Yeah, we're getting we're getting there. <laughs> I think mean, Charlie liked those ones. He's immediately emptying out mm, the bowl. I did not. They're like good very much. They're real good. Again, I would prefer them to the Cocoa Puffs, though. Jackson, put mine up in S tier. Don't worry about what he says. It's pretty yucky. 
Get out the next cereal. You I'm have talking it. nonsense. Reese's Puffs. This is going to be another controversial hot take, but I'm not a big fan of Reese's Puffs either. I think I would prefer them to the Cocoa Puffs, to be honest, but not by much. Like, it wouldn't be a go-to cereal for me like it is for a lot of people. I'm putting Reese's Puffs also at a C tier. I think that's only fair since Cocoa Puffs are there, and I think they're marginally better, only slightly. So they should probably just inhabit the same tier. But I, between the two of them, I'm not. I'm just not a huge fan. The peanut butter is all right. It's, it's not overbearing. You know, I think it plays a nice symphony in my mouth, but it's just not as much fun to eat as all the other cereals. Who likes raisins in their cereal? I hate when people say that. You've never, have you had Raisin Bran? No. Didn't think so. It's too almost healthy. Raisins. You can't have that for breakfast. Are you no. kidding What's me? What's crazy is it has more sugar than almost... I, was, I know. <laughs> I was going to say, I could imagine it has a fuck ton. It, so Raisin Bran's marketed as kind of like a yeah. healthy cereal. It has more sugar than any other cereal. Yes. And you can you can fact check it. It's like candy and raisins. It's because raisins. they sugarcoat every piece of it. Yeah. 19 grams of sugar. Yeah. Yeah. 19 grams, but 13 are included. So that six grams comes from the raisins. Yeah. So some natural sugies in there. So. You know what Jackson calls these? Saltana brand. Can you get it? Saltana brand? Saltana brand. What a fucking idiot. I think raisins are called saltanas in Australia. Oh my god. Is that a yeah. raisin company? I don't know, but he calls it, because he, when he was here, this is what he ate every morning. I'm surprised he doesn't call them like Raisy Brannies. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely sounds like Australia. Golden Australian. daytime raisin style. Mackers? <laughs> yeah, ma Maccas is it's what Maccas. they call it. For McDonald's, and they call breakfast a brekkie, and they call cigarettes C's. I'll give you a good healthy pour. Thanks. That way you can really oh, some fucking raisin bran. Mm -hmm. It looks good. <laughs> it is good. I love raisin bran. This will have you shitting for hours. <laughs> love <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. I've been looking for a solution to that. Woo. It tastes even better after 20 other cereals in my stomach. <laughs> That's when it really shines. It really, yeah, fused together. Yeah, I feel real harmoniously. Good. Oh yeah. Right now there's a cereal battle in my stomach. I wonder who's gonna come out on top. <laughs> now you really took all the wind out of Matt's sails with this one. Are you gonna try and lie and say you don't like it? You gonna be a liar? <laughs> Santa Claus doesn't like liars. You go around on that fucking naughty list. Mm. Tell the truth. That's what I thought. That's what I well, why are there raisins in it? Because it helps with the colon cleansing. Yeah. Raisin Bran is for the amazing man, baby. Love that shit. Raisin Bran S tier. It's just super good. It has a bad rap because of, of course, Bran. You know, when you hear that, you think old people, dog shit, puke, garbage. But it, you're going to have to just take my word for it. Raisin Bran is, it goes where no cereal dares to go. And that's right to flavor paradise. I love Raisin Bran, and I think it has an unnecessarily hostile record for no reason. People are mean to it without ever having tried it. It is fantastic. Last one. Let's get wild. Let's fucking go on. Woo! Now, that had a cool slogan. It was, um, follow the rainbow. Or taste the rainbow. Um, what was Raisin Bran's logo? It will have die. you shitting for hours. <laughs> yeah. Lucky Charms is one of the, when I was a young child, I used to go on the computer onto their website and play like the little maze game. Yeah. They had, was it Lucky Charms, the leprechaun that always wanted to get his Lucky Charms? Yeah. yeah. When everybody was after him. Yeah. yeah. Hi, did I, did I, everybody's after me Lucky Charms. Everybody's after me Lucky Charms. Only <laughs> he can answer that. I like Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms are great. What a great way to finish it off. Casual bowl of Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. Lucky Charms. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, da 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 da. Why do you keep saying that? Why the fuck do you say Oh yeah. What? Fart. <laughs> I can't celebrate. You're saying it in an Irish accent. Are you racist? No, I was just saying. Oh yeah. <laughs> Charlie just canceled Matt live. <laughs> Oh, What's your favorite marshmallow? Um. Is that just a spoon of marshmallows right there? No, it's a lot of marshmallows. Probably the. You can have some lucky charms too. I like the lower intestine purple ones. Yeah. Horseshoes. Or like the stomach. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that one is pretty cool too. I think it's supposed to be a balloon, but yeah. Lucky Charms, do I even need to say anything else S tier? Like, do I need to explain why Lucky Charms are an S tier? If I have to explain to you why they're an S tier, you're already a fucking failure. Lucky Charms, classic, incredible, hold up super well. Love them as much as I, I love them as much today as I did when I was a kid. They're just so good. 